It is right after 8 o'clock on Tuesday, June 25. Here are the levels in the SPY that I'm going to use to trade today if I'm able to do it. And you are welcome to use them to trade yourself or to experiment with them. And because of the timing, like I've been saying, I'm keeping an eye on the weekly and the monthly chart because where they close Friday is important. And there are zones today. If they were going to come down into a zone or come up into a zone at this point, they're at 543. So they would say they would come down to the zone that this whole area could provide support. Uh, depends on how they come into it during the day. Same thing down here. There's some important levels. They did come down and bounce off a 25% Fibonacci retracement, which happened to co coincide with this level that I had. Remember, I had this level up at 546 uh, something, close to 547, 546, 94, 95, something like that. Yesterday from a longer term type of calculation. Well, the bookend of that is down here at 542.08. So and they've already been down to that area. Bounce up. It's not a huge move. There's a little bit of a, of a bounce in some of the indexes that I track, but you know, not a lot. Like I mentioned yesterday, the QQQs, the SMH, they, uh, they're in worse shape right now than the SPY. You know, timing is, is the same story for them. The, the timing is all important at this point. So let's just be careful today. So we'll come back to this chart after the market closes and analyze what happened with the E-mini trades, if there were any. We'll find that out after the market closes. See you then. So now after 8 o'clock p.m., and pretty obvious to see... Now, what level the spiders thought was important, 544.33, didn't get a lot higher than this, and they never got to the zone below. So, could you have a trade here? I mean, yes, obviously the level is important. You can do whatever you want with it. But playing by my rules, let's just see what happens. So, they're coming up into it after 945. Pretty obvious. 945 was way back here somewhere. 544.33, that would become 544.28. And they came two pennies away, 544.26. So, that did not trigger a trade for me there. Um, and I don't want to take it again. I've been asked why I don't like to take trades the second time they come up on a level the same. It, the way I like to explain it is that they come up the same direction. They, they gave it would have given a short trade here. Like that's the trade, right? They come up again. I don't know, honestly, if they're going to go higher. That could be the first hit tends to be the best time to take the trade in my experience. I've seen too many times where on the second or the third try, they bust through. In this case, they'd go higher. But what I don't mind doing is taking a recycle if they get above and then come back down because this area acts as support. In this case, it would act as support. But that really wasn't an issue here. There was one trade over here that I took. The way they were acting on a couple, on a couple other charts, looking at things, uh, which reminds me, I need to tell you something else about other charts. I just bought here. And I'm going to show you um, some proof of that. It wasn't recorded in the way I've typically been recording, which is a video uh, you know, screen recording of the, my trades. But you remember yesterday when I was kind of a little bit upset at myself for not recognizing I could have had a better zone up at there at that, um, the levels that I calculate using longer term data, and that would have really given me a better position size and, and, and average entry price if I had sold up higher. Um, and it came like a penny away from that, from triggering. Well, Part of the reason is when I'm recording these trades during the day, I only have this, like the, um, you know, the spiders on the left and the e-minis on the right, and the ones that I, I show you. And I'm not really, I don't want to mess that recording up, so I'm not bouncing back and forth between my other screens, on, on at least on this one computer. This is when I'm at the office working on other things. So I do take a look at a few other things using TradingView as a kind of a, some analysis. But I'm essentially kind of flying blind in a sense because, say, I'm at home. In my home office trading, well, I have multiple monitors and I have a lot of things I look at and it's just, it's so much more comfortable knowing what's going on. I don't feel like I know exactly what's going on when I just have the levels. So maybe some of you guys can identify with this because I'm only giving you levels right now and until this course is ready, which, you know, it's, yeah, it's still, still going. I'm still trudging along on weekends that I have time to do it. So today I just didn't record anything. Um, I took screenshots of the record of the trade as it was happening over here. I'll show that to you. And it was so much better because for me, on a couple of different levels, one, I'm able to pay attention to what I'm doing. I can just, you know, cycle through my different workstations or you know, my desktops that I have of different analysis screens. And second of all, it took like 15 seconds to do the post editing video of it. So I'll show it to you right now. First of all, it's so I didn't there's no trade here. I mean, yes, the level is important. You could have taken a short trade. Obviously, it worked really well here. Uh, I just wouldn't have known. I didn't know. Don't trust it the second or third time. But in this case, this level is important. 
and they didn't really want to rally higher, rally higher today in uh, the case of the spiders, at least to negate what they did yesterday. But the trade I'm going to show you in a minute was right here. When they got above, I got into a long, I just bought one contract thinking they go higher, gave them some time. Yeah, they got below a little bit. And then at some point they came up here. I had like five points. I actually got pulled five points out of this one. Got close here and I thought, well, I might as well just kind of show some proof of this because like all the other videos that I've been making, I don't hide anything from you. I'm showing you the levels in the morning. I'm trading them. I'm showing the trades when I can record them and showing you the trades in the end of the day. So I want you know to show you some proof here. So here's the proof. So while this might look like it's a video that's going to play, it's not. It's just a bunch of screenshots I took. And it's, you know, kind of messy. They kind of jump around a little bit. And it was after the fact. So I entered the trade somewhere around here. So in the E-minis. So I'm already in it. They're up here. And they got pretty close. As they were getting close, I thought, hey, I better just start taking some screenshots of, of my screen here. So you have it. So the clock's not even there at this point. I'll start playing this. It's only like 11 seconds, 11 seconds or so long. And in a minute, you're going to see, or in a few seconds, you're going to see clock um, pull up. Actually, you don't need this one because that's the current time. And uh, so you see what time it is. It was around 2.30, I think, in the afternoon. And then I put a little marker to show you where I entered the trade. So I'm not going to talk through it. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just you know, don't get too put off by the, the jostling around of the second long, half a second long screenshots. There it is. So enter right here, like I said. All right, I got above, held it out. Five points is right there. So, you know, use your imagination. It was a uh, trade worked. Looks like they're trying to fake fake me out here, but you know, the writing was on the wall and some other places just to, to wait it out and they'd go higher. So, you know, I don't know if it helps or not, but it really buys me some time. So I think I might do something like this. Maybe I'll work on making it a little cleaner video, but I like a 15 second post editing time. Honestly, it buys me some more time. Back to the full day, I basically bought right about here and waited it out, got five points. How does that look in the tracking log? Well, let's find out. Strictly adhering to the rules, this level would not have been triggered because of that first near miss. Yes, they did react off of it. It was a good level all day long, but like I explained already, that's just not the way I do it. I'd rather play it safe than sorry. And I didn't take it either the first time, but the second time I got a five point, it was called a recycle on the long side once they got above. So five points. And that was the trade. Pretty interesting day. Three more days this week. And they're not doing a lot. Volume's still pretty low. So let's just play each day at a time. Take each day at a time. And we'll come back tomorrow and do this again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.